Is your behavior secretly sabotaging your success? Today we will be unmasking the status killers and discover the 15 everyday actions you wouldn't believe could lower your status. This is Elite Diva Lifestyle, where we will teach you how to be exceptional and excellent in life. I'm sure most of us think that our wealth is the ultimate indicator of success. However, we can instantly lower the status just by mindlessly doing these everyday actions that we fail to realize have a huge status indicator impact. Let's start! Talking Nonsense we all heard that saying that an empty can is noisy than the ones filled. This is true even in people. It is important to keep the conversation going when you are around other individuals. However, refrain from just blurting out words that do not make sense or do not add value to the real conversation. If you keep on engaging in a conversation that you do not understand entirely, people will see through you and will lose their trust. They will avoid being with you again as you don't add value to them. Always remember that in order to keep a meaningful conversation, you have to add value input. And if you are not familiar with the topic, it is best to acknowledge it and not add any made-up stories or unrelated points. Poor Financial Management Rich people are good with their money. We all know that. They are able to grow their resources because they manage it well. So, if you do not manage your finances well, people will see through you as someone who doesn't have self-control or someone who does not value time and do not have clear priorities, which further entails how you are most likely to waste the group's resources if you are in one. They will never trust you. If you are building a business, investors will not even consider your rich vision because of how they see you manage your own. It's okay if you're not good with it now. You can always learn by engaging yourself with books, videos, or attending lectures from reputable personalities. You have to practice as managing money is a life skill too. Overindulgence Everything in the extreme is bad. Remember the time you saw someone eating too much, drinking too much, extremely obsessing about their opinion? They turn you off, right? So stop doing it too because it exposes who you truly are in the world. And it all boils down to self-control that will eventually lead to having lack of self-respect and respect for others, eventually lowering your status in an instant. Bad Hygiene Do we have to state the obvious? Having bad hygiene will give people an impression that you have a low status in life. Why? It is because people tend to judge with visuals, and it is mostly what they observe in an initial meeting. If you have bad hygiene, it may be bad odor or a bad breath, unkempt hair and teeth, and still not keeping a distance from other people. They will notice in a second and they will truly think of you as someone who can't afford to even keep yourself together, that you can take yourself seriously enough to take care of your own needs. Even having unclean clothes will give the impression that you can't afford a basic life. If you think about it, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to acquire high-end pieces of clothing, but simply keeping decent and clean ones will set a particular standard to other people around you. Looking physically tired or ill For the longest time, most people associate being tired as being hardworking and looking ill gives an impression that you're always doing your best in whatever you are currently working on, but this is not true. Having this impression most likely turns people off. Why? If you look tired all the time, people will know how your work enslaves you, and you don't have freedom, and only poor people have this. If you look ill all the time, people will most likely avoid you because they are afraid to be sick as you look like. Especially with the recent pandemic, people would always be skeptical, so ensure that you are presentable at all times. Asking Personal Questions Not everything is meant to be exposed to the world. Thus, not all questions are meant to be asked. Some people do not want to be questioned like they are in a prison. So stop asking personal questions to people you just met. Unless they open the topic to you, refrain from asking. 
If you think asking them personal questions is something they are okay with, and if asking these questions will add to the conversation they are trying to open to you, it is best to still ask them if they are okay if you ask them some points. Remember, be careful with asking. Remain respectful, because if you happen to ask in a wrong way, they will not be interested to be with you again. Lacking Basic Skills If you think rich people trust all their needs with their helpers, you need to think again. Most of them know how to take care of themselves, and you should too. Whatever your age now, you should be able to do basic home chores that will keep you alive and net on your own. Cleaning your space, cooking, settling your bills are just basic skills of survival. If you fail to do all these, it will give people that you are not fully mature to handle things, thus giving them an impression that you have a low status in life. Tolerating belittlement and insults and not standing up for yourself. Respect is a constant in wealthy individuals, especially self-respect. If you observe them closely, most of them have a respectable personality. It is because they do not allow others to disrespect them or speak down on them. They uphold too much self-respect and constantly stand up for themselves. If you want to maintain a high standard, you should start with this. And remember, people will treat you by how you treat yourself. Consistently experiencing an existential crisis People who are lost and lack purpose in life are boring. Do you agree? They do not have something to contribute to themselves. What more to you? An individual's drive and ambition sets them apart from the crowd because they make people see what they are capable of doing to be able to attain their dreams in life. People like these inspire the crowd paving the way for more opportunities. It can't be helped to be lost in life from time to time. That's why it is important to figure out your life's purpose early on because this will always draw you right back on track when you get lost. Misinterpreting social cues Social skills is an indication of a high status. If you are able to read the vibe or a room, then it speaks so much of your status. It is always about timing. If you are a natural comedian, yet you throw a joke at the wrong time or the wrong room, your jokes will never be funny. So, observe the room you are in, read the whole vibe, and act accordingly. Mastering this skill will grant you access to more rooms in the future because people will be comfortable with your presence. Struggles with emotional stability The world is complicated already, and people do not want to have unnecessary drama. So, having a lack of emotional control will set you in their list of least people they want to be with. Avoid crying all the time. Refrain from being angry even if the situation seems to be calling you to be one. And always pull yourself together whatever the situation you are in. Remember, having a strong emotional control harbors respect, and respect sets your status high. Cruelty Any form of cruelty lowers someone's status. Why? Because it means that you are intentionally inflicting harm and suffering to anyone without any reasons. A form of nonsense, right? People will never engage themselves with individuals who love doing nonsense things and giving them a low respect impression. Again, the level of respect is equal to the level of status. Failing to adhere to the unspoken social contract Knowing your place and your role in a certain place will truly boost your status. When you are a guest in someone's home, you ought to follow the rules that the host sets, because it will speak of how respectful you are. So if the rules were set, follow them, because you are a guest and you need to act like one. How will you feel if you host someone and they do not follow your rules? You will immediately look down on them, right? You will think how they don't know this basic etiquette. Thus, speaks of how low their status is for not knowing their place. Ignoring popular opinion and ultimately being mistaken There is a reason why there is a unified crowd. Aside from the fact that they have the same opinion about something, they also believe in the factors or evidence towards this opinion. Thus, going against them seems to be a bad move especially if you end up on the wrong side. If you have a different stand about something and you end up being right, people would admire you for standing on something that you know is beneficial. However, if you end up being wrong and have a lack of understanding of what you are standing for, people will lose trust and respect for your opinions in the future. Thus, marking your spot with the least status in an instant. 
obsessively focusing on one aspect of yourself. Not everything revolves around you. You have to bear this in mind. Thus, do not make the one thing that you're obsessing about be your entire personality in front of other people because that is not their reality. People love to discover more, and if you stick to one personality, people are more likely to be revealed to you. There would be no other reason for them to keep you within their radar. This will further indicate how poor your status is. I am sure you've met some people that made you mentally label them as low status based on their behavior. Tell us, what triggered that label for you? Tell us in the comment section below. For those who made it to this part, thank you. Here is a bonus for you. Another way that most people seem to miss but instantly set their status low is by how they can tolerate inconvenience and unpleasantness. We cannot control the external things that are simultaneously happening with what we are doing or prioritizing. However, we can control how we react to it. With all the external noises, children playing, crying, a neighbor who keeps on cleaning, singing, or arguing, all of these can distract us from all the things we ought to do. But if you are able to maintain a calm reaction and still do all the things you plan on doing with all these distractions, people will immediately see you as someone who have a high status. This is because you display a strong self-control and focus that most people with low status lack. Thank you for watching our video. If you want to see more videos like this, don't miss this opportunity to join our awesome community and comment down below what are the videos you want us to do. Trust me, everyone here is awesome. Just hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon below to get notified whenever we upload a new video. This is the Elite Diva Lifestyle, signing off until next time. Learn excellence in all angles.